What is up everybody, Gifford here, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my MPW stock and how I do options trading. So it's a late night video about options trading, and I do this on MPW stock on the Interactive Brokers platform. So this is advanced trading, and I highly recommend that you do not do this if you are new to the stock market. So be warned that this is one of my portfolios and it is highly speculative. So bear in mind, this is an advanced video. If you're interested in options trading and what it is, I will link a playlist to one of my own beginner video guides at the end of this video after you've watched this one on how to make extra money. Let's go. So where does this money actually come from? Well, I do it on MPW stock and I get quarterly dividends from them. So four dividends per year. And I also do options trading for options income. And as a bit of fun to motivate me into doing this correctly, I do use this money to buy me some KFC. So just as a bit of proof, you can see a screenshot here of me getting $202.50 USD. That's from the dividends itself and you can see it got paid out this year. And then if you have a look at the bottom there, I did withdraw 410 New Zealand dollars. And that also included some options income that I gained. And I'll talk about that very soon. So there's a lot going on on the screen here, but I'm gonna walk you through it. This is Interactive Brokers, if you're not familiar with it. And you can see I've got 9.2K of its net liquidity. And here are all my other positions. So what I'm gonna to explain to you is the three positions I have and what income they have produced and my overall plan of income, dividends, and also what my long-term hold is. And just here at the bottom you can see this is my total portfolio split so interactive brokers is about fifteen thousand dollars of that of the whole thing but bear in mind i do have my shizzy's kiwi saver in there which is the massive one that i just include in there because it is part of my stock market portfolio okay so going into the heavy stuff here for the people that do options you can see that these are my current positions and what i do right so we're just going to go through them you can see here i've got 1400 shares of MPW, my average price is $6.28. Now bear in mind that I have been making income off this, so the, so my realistic cost basis is actually way lower than this. I think it's about $5.40, but it continues to go down depending what I do with the money or if I invest in buying more stock. So the first bit is that the dividends from July paid out at 15 cents per share because I have 1,400 shares. That equates to $210 USD. Next one down is the quarterly payments. I've already had two this year, so I've got another two to go. Therefore, I just have to own whatever shares on the X dividend date. Okay. Okay, for my first position that I want to explain, so I've got MPW here, and that expires on July 19th, obviously this year, and that is an $8 call that I sold. So what that did is that I sold calls, $8 strike, therefore I get paid $88 straight away. And I bought these when the price was about $5.50, therefore stock price does go up. I will make $250 times four for all these contracts that go up. So in summary, if July 19th comes around and the price is lower than $8, then I just get to keep the $88 minus all the fees but if it does rise up to eight dollars then i'm happy to sell them and also profit uh, the capital gains which is the 250 dollars per contract so the next one down is the same date and i sold six dollar calls on that as well so again i got paid 81 dollars for doing those five contracts if the stock price goes up to six dollars then the capital appreciation is a hundred dollars per contract so the next one below that is also on the same date now i did these calls at a little bit lower at five dollars fifty and i got paid 172 dollars for that now there i got it for five dollars so therefore, if they jump up to $5.50, that's an extra $50 per contract. Um, and obviously, because I did these options, I'm happy to sell those shares. And $5.50, $6, and $8 is all above my true cost basis of what these things are. So it's pretty much all profit, right? And for the people that do options, you'll already know this, that if the strike price is closer, it's higher premium paid and less capital gains. Now let's have a look at the MPW stock price and what it's been doing in the last couple of weeks. So as we can see here in the last month, the price has been fairly flat. So it did go up to $5. $5.50 and it's got to come down now. So that's because when it paid out the dividend, it does come down automatically. I don't know what the price is going to be when I do those options, but basically what it's telling you is that I'm happy to sell them above my cost price because anything above $5.40 is going to be a profit for me. And I'm doing it for that extra income that's happening as well as the dividends. And clicking over to six months, we can see that MPW did drop down to $3 when it had that very negative earnings that it had earlier in the year. And then it slowly recovered then. So I'm actually hoping that the stock price is going to be below my strike prices so that I get to keep my stock and also I get to keep that options profit. So what does this all mean? So you can see here, 2024 from January to May, I've got realized profits. So my dividends there is $337.50 and my options income also is $168.23. So this gives me a total of $505.73 USD. And if you convert that roughly to New Zealand, it's $825. And here's just a screenshot just showing you the proof that uh, here's my dividends that I got. This one here is 202 and this one here is 135. So therefore I must've had less shares at the beginning. 
beginning of the year, which is pretty obvious, right? And here is the realized gains, what I've been doing in my options, which means that I got paid out in it. And that is $168. So why do I do this? Well, obviously it's for extra income, but it does have a lot of risks to go with it. You have to understand options. Um, I've been looking at options trading now for about three years. I haven't really gone too focused on it, not too in depth because you do need a lot of capital, but yeah, it generates extra income when selling those options contracts as well as on top of the dividends that I get, which is really nice. And obviously the con is that it is added risk and I have previously lost a lot of money in this. So I'm trying to be a little bit more stable and get that weekly income, even though it's a little, um, it's much less than what I have been previously before, but obviously I want to keep my risk down. And to add, it's good that these profits are actually turning into something real, which is providing me some real KFC when I don't want to invest the money back into the stock market. So just a quick summary of what I've been doing, I get paid the dividends as well as options. That pays me 505 US dollars, equivalent of $825 for this year in New Zealand. Options trading can be risky, although it does have rewards. That's why I kind of tend to not go overboard and just collect those payments every week. So the other thing about it is there's a new skill that you do have to learn. And it's quite nice that not many people know how to do it or really understand it in New Zealand. It's fairly new over here, but in America, they, they have a lot of it. So a lot of exposure to it. So yeah. And just as a special mention here, I do want to thank the people that have mentored me through my options trading journey. Um, I know that they paid a lot of money to learn this knowledge and they've just sort of passed it on to me for free. So I appreciate that and I thank you and you know who you are. So for the end video, I will put the playlist of options trading if you are interested and want to learn about it and just I just show you what's going on and some trades in a real basic way. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down at the bottom and I'll do my best to answer them. The trading platform I use is Interactive Brokers, Hatch Invest, Stake and Sharesies for individual companies and I use InvestNow for index funds. If you want to start investing, you can use any of my referral codes down below to start your own investing journey if you are from New Zealand. And watch this video here if you're interested in my entire stock market portfolio. If you like what I do here and you want to keep up with any videos that I post out, feel free to like and subscribe this video. And if you want to hear more from me midweek, I'm also over on Instagram, so feel free to follow me over there as well as I post about my stock market portfolio and any general news about the stock market that I found interesting. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.